Okay, what up ladies and gents, your favorite Asian robot right here, hopefully your favorite Helldivers 2 content creator, and today I'm going to teach you about the stealth change that was made to Planet Liberation. Um, why am I calling it a stealth change? Because I haven't seen it in the patch notes anywhere. If you can find it in the patch notes somewhere, please tell me because I haven't seen it in the official patch notes, but here is what has changed. Let me start by giving you an overview of how Planet Liberation worked in the past. Okay, so if you go on the Helldivers.io website and you've done your background reading, a planet has a million hit points, right? And every time you completed one mission, that would deal one damage to the planet. So let's say you went on difficulty five, three missions, that's three damage you deal to the planet. So when a squad finishes the full operation, you deal three damage to the planet, and that is how you calculate liberation. So slowly over time, your liberation increases as more and more Helldivers and squads complete missions. Each of them will deal damage to the planet, and it goes on and on and on and on and on, which is great. That was the old system. However, the old system made it so that, say, say Difficulty 5, where there's three missions, right, is the same as Difficulty 9. Meaning that even if you were to complete a Helldive, which is clearly much more difficult than a hard level mission, you would have the same squad impact. The squad impact was solely based on the number of missions completed. This means that you could speed run Liberation by doing trivial missions, level 1, okay, and finishing them in 5 minutes, and within an hour, okay, so 60 divided by 5 is 12, yeah? You would literally have 12 squad impact per hour, and you could practically do it solo. So this, this could just happen on and on and on continuously if you want to speed run. Now, this is fantastic, and I'm sure it would be helpful if like 100,000 Helldivers were to speed run. You could literally deal, um, if, if 100,000 Helldivers were to speed run, then within the space of an hour, assuming they completed trivial missions in just five minutes each, okay, 12 times 100,000, that would conquer the planet. You could literally conquer a planet in one hour just doing that. Okay, ideal situation. Now things are a bit different. Okay, now of course most most hell divers would not speed run, because if you were speed running, it's going to be really really boring. <laughs> okay, just doing trivial missions. Yeah, no, very boring. Um, so most people would not do that. Okay, now the system is different, and let me show you the evidence for it. I didn't have evidence before, but I do now. So first, let's talk on the um, Helldivers.io page. If you go here, on the 22nd of March, 2024, they said that liberation progress is fixed, but the method has changed. See the FAQ. If you go down to the FAQ section, all right, what it will show you now, this is a little too small to read, so I've taken a screenshot and I've blown it up a little bit, but there is a theory for how liberation is calculated. Okay, This is up here. The theory is that the amount of damage that you deal when completing an operation is equal to the experience multiplied by an internal scalar, a combination of impact multiplier and some other variable. The impact multiplier scales inversely with the running average total population. What this means is that the galaxy has a target goal at how much liberation can be done across the entire galaxy. Okay, you can check out some graphs if you want. This new method rewards higher difficulties and community alignment. Diverging efforts impacts the rate of each other versus the previous method. That's what they say up here. Now, I've actually managed to obtain proof of this. It, ha it happened a couple of times, okay, just to give a bit of background history before I show the proof. It happened a couple of times on stream where I would clear, say, a difficulty eight operation with my squad, right? Uh, I was speed running at the time, but somehow we managed to get a squad impact of six instead of the usual three, okay? This got me thinking the first few times that it was a bug. Then I realized the other day that we did it again, after all the liberation bugs had been fixed. Which sort of shocked me to my senses, and a lot of other people had been reporting the same thing. So I said, okay, maybe there really is a change. Like, we were suspicious for a while, because, you know, some internal numbers got displayed, things like that, during during several of the bugs. Um, it's been a mess ever since the Arcthor issue, but basically, we tried it over a few days, and now that we understand this, we actually tried it today, live on stream. The link is in the description of this video if you want to check out the full three-hour stream where we did all the testing. We tested a level six mission. We ran all the missions in the set, okay? And we got only three squad impacts. So I said, fine. Uh, level six mission, not much of a change. But then we ran a difficulty seven mission, a suicide level operation, and that is when we saw the big change. Let me show you the footage. 
Okay, so difficulty 7, you can see it up there in the top right-hand corner, and you can also see my uh, ugly hair this morning. All right, we finished the third operation in the set right there, okay? And then, all right, pay attention right here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom, right there, paused. You can see squad impact 6, all right? We had a squad impact of 6 by completing every single objective on the map on all three missions, okay? And there you go, banked in, done. Now, the only question that we have to ask is, is this actually worth it? Is this actually going to be more worth it than spamming trivial missions? The honest answer is no. <laughs> the honest answer is no. But it does mean that players can now play higher difficulty missions and sort of be rewarded for their time and skill. For example, if you've got a full squad that is clearing every single objective on a hell dive mission, you're gonna have much more impact than a squad that's only doing fives, sixes, two, threes. However, it's hard to beat the trivial spam. Let me explain why. Okay, here we go. Let me go to this Google spreadsheet right here. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna buff up the fonts uh, to a large number so that we can all see everything. I'm gonna remove my cam while I walk you through this. So, let's start here. Trivial mission. Okay. In fact, you know what? I'll highlight the whole thing. Let's blow all the cells up. There we go. Okay, now this will be easier for you to see. So on a trivial mission, let's say the mission completion time. Okay, let's say the mission completion time is five. And we'll put it this in minutes, right? So this is a trivial meaning level one missions. Yeah, so so you're completing them within five minutes. Now, how many could you run in an hour? One hour is 60 minutes, right? Okay, this means total missions completed would be 60 divided by five. Yeah, 12, right? So like I said before, 100,000 uh, held ever count. Let's put held ever count. Let's say only 50,000 hell divers are working on the planet at any one point in time. This means that the squad impact per hour would be this amount. 600,000, okay? Planet hit points. We know that planets have 1 million hit points. Okay, this is stated on the uh, helldivers.io website page. Again, if you want to review that, a planet has 1 million hit points. It's actually listed here. Okay, you can read that, read up on that if you want. So how long will it take to liberate? How long to liberate in hours? This divided by that, it would take 1.66 hours. Okay, what does that actually equate to? That's roughly one hour and 40 minutes. That's how long it would take to liberate a planet, assuming you've got 50,000 hell divers to spam trivial missions. Really puts it into perspective, right? So what if, what if we were to now swap it over? Let's take all the same factors. Okay, we'll copy that down here. And this one, we're gonna call it, say, suicide mission. Okay, so the mission completion time drastically is gonna is gonna change okay mission completion time for the average suicide mission assuming you finish all objectives is roughly 32 minutes now this means one hour is 60 minutes total missions completed per hour is 1.87 so how long will it actually take us to get now we're gonna have to change the calculations a little bit you know it's actually going to take us a lot longer to finish off the full set of operations, okay? So the total missions completed is 1.875. Squad impact per hour is going to be different again. So even if 50,000 hell divers were doing a suicide mission, okay, so sorry, I'm going to change some numbers here, okay? Total missions completed. Oh, sorry, actually we shouldn't change that. My apologies. We're going to insert a new row here. Okay. Now, for this new row, here's what's going to happen. Squad impact 
is going to be 6, right? Like we've shown in the proof video. How long does it take to get this? It's actually going to be this ton times 3. So it's going to be 96 minutes, okay? And the held average count now doing this is 50,000. So squad impact per hour, okay, is going to be this multiplied by now this is a bit now this is a bit of uh, how we're gonna actually have to do this the factor is this divided by this so you won't be getting the full squad impact okay so squad impact per hour is actually going to be 3.75 because you're not going to get the full impact right and we're going to multiply this entire number by the 50,000 hell divers oops sorry put the asterisk in the wrong place so you would actually get you would actually get um, a squad impact per hour roughly okay now it would still take 96 minutes to finish so obviously the planet would still take longer than an hour to liberate but you'd get a total squad impact of 187,500 per hour roughly and considering that the planet's hit points are 1 million it would take about five hours and 20 minutes to liberate the planet Think about this in comparison. 50,000 Helldivers running trivial missions, right? Assuming that they managed to speedrun all of them and they did the full set of 12 missions within within an hour, they would liberate a planet in just one hour and 40 minutes versus um, five hours and 20 minutes doing suicide missions, even with the higher squad impact. So is this new methodology worth it? Um, the math says no, okay? Let's 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 bring it back here, okay? As we finish off this discussion, the math says no. Realistically speaking, we could still get more out of spamming trivial missions, but at the very least, let me put my perspective in this, okay? Um, from my perspective, I think that this is a worthwhile change for one reason only: it is freaking boring. This is the only reason fifty thousand hell divers don't do trivial missions and clear a planet liberation in an hour. It is very very boring to do so. Now, I'm sure if Reddit organized themselves, they could probably get 50,000 Helldivers to do this, but I really wouldn't want to see that. The game is very boring if, you just, if you're just going to do that. This, this is a video game. We should be playing it for fun and certainly not turning our endgame war into a chore. We should be doing the highest possible difficulty so that we feel accomplished and sweaty at the end of it, but now we get more bang for our buck. So if you are doing the higher level missions, doing full completions, looting, getting everything done, you're going to actually be contributing more to the war effort, which is, I think, what the devs are going for. They wanted to create that difference so that it is still more worthwhile to an extent for players to be doing hell dives, as in those who do hell dives will ultimately contribute more so long as they get everything done along the way, okay? So I hope that information helps. I hope that this uh, helps you guys understand how Planet Liberation works. And if anyone can find me proof that this was changed somehow, like just tell me where the stealth change was because I literally don't know when it was officially changed in the patch notes, but it has been changed, all right? Um, the evidence is clear. Go try it with your friends. Let me know your results because you should, assuming that you complete all objectives, be getting more than three squad impact unless people are just spread out all over the place and just not getting results then, you know. I don't know, but the proof, like I said, is in the pudding. I have managed to obtain proof. This has not just happened once. This has happened several times over several streams. Let me know about your experiences, and thank you very much for, for listening to me talking today. All right, the math section may have been a bit boring, but I hope that it was uh, sort of helpful to you guys, and I hope that you guys um, understand where it's coming from and all that. All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and last but not least, please allow me to thank the amazing individuals that make all of my content possible. In case you did not know, we receive a lot of support from a variety of individuals. Let me give them some serious thanks right now. Okay. Starting with our top supporters in March right now. Okay. Our top supporter list consists of our top tipper, Nisk. Our top tipper list consists of BVS Fang. Top super chatter is Teddy Lasso. Top super chatter list consists of Wishless Destroyer, Arcane Silver, John McKinley, Iron Espio, Lord J, and Chanel Name. Top channel membership gifter is Lord J. Top channel membership gifter list consists of Vinny and Nightshade. Thank you guys so much. All right. Now, certainly last but not least, we also have to thank our top tier channel members. 
Um, starting at the very highest level, we have Teddy Lasso and Nisk at the only fan level. At plus ultra level, we have Arcane Silver and Death Dawning 982. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you to all of our prestige robots as well. You guys are amazing. Thank you to all of our honored robots. Thank you to all of our cool and weird bots as well. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good day now. Bye-bye.